Hello my loves, yes, this is a collaboration between myself and the wonderfully talented Black Swan Beauty. Now we organised this before Christmas, I want you to head over to her channel, it's all going to be linked in the description box. We challenged each other to do something we don't normally do. I am really bad at 3D acrylic work because it's not something I've ever practised really. I did a lantern at Christmas which was interesting. So she chose a fairy stroke butterfly type thing. I'm using Diamond Nail Supplies Clarity. I'm using these beautiful um, fabrics that were sent to me by the lovely Dawn, as were these two glitters which are from the Glitter Fairy. This is Unicorn's Den Mermaid's Tail. And these were sent to me by Dawn as well. And I'm also using Topper's Top Caress as well. So I've kind of sketched out on the back of a form a rough sort of wing shape. I just I had just had a look on Google at pictures and shapes and I'm just sort of laying down a clear wash of acrylic. I've never ever ever done this before. I did not practice it. I just went straight in and thought well I'll have a go really. I know that the acrylic system won't let me down and the glitters are beautiful so it's just down to me really <laughs> so I'm putting down some of the unicorns den mermaid's tail this is iridescent multicut it's absolutely beautiful and this is the base of the design and then the other colors will come off from this as will the pieces of material so there's the first piece of material going I've just cut it out press it into that wet acrylic and it will stick down beautifully and then I'm going to go in with some of the dots. These are from the Indian Summer Collection from the Glitter Fairy. I'll put the names down below. I love the Indian Summer Collection, it's my favourite one actually. These were actually sent to me by Dawn. So I'm kind of mixing together some of the dots with some of the mermaid's tail from Unicorn's Den. And then I'm laying down a couple of those pieces of glitter, the kind of um, eye shape, which are beautiful. Again, these were just sent to me by Dawn. She sent me some nail mail last year because she's so lovely. And then I'm going in with the blue dots here. And they've got an iridescent glow to them, which made me think of butterflies because when the light hits them off and they look a different color. So I thought, yes, that will work. Look, I'm just going to say now though, I'm sure there's plenty of people who can do this a lot better than me, but I had a go and went out of my comfort zone, so we're just going to go with it. We're all learning together here, okay? <laughs> So I'm literally just continuing with the, sorry about my hair sticking in there, but I had to get really close. Ping, there goes my hair. <laughs> then going in with some more of that Unicorn's Den glitter, Mermaid's Tail. It's so useful, it's just, you can just use it with anything. It's really versatile. Mapping it out again with a bit of clear. Then I'm going to lay down some more of the material in the blue colour now. And then going in with a couple more of those shapes. They're really pretty, they have like a golden glow to them. And then back in with the dots. So I pick up a wet bead of acrylic and then I dip that into the glitter and then mix it in so that all the pieces of glitter have got a coating of acrylic so they stick where I place them. I think the key to something like this is to know where you're going with it and map it out and plan. I struggle with symmetry so I haven't showed you how I did the other side but I did the same thing but I found that the other wing actually turned out bigger so once I'd finished, I, I released them both from the back of the form and I placed one on top of the other and then I used my e-file to actually make sure they were both the same shape. 
because otherwise I just couldn't do it by eye. I'm not very good at that. So once I've placed everything where I want it, I'm going to go in with a bead of the Clarity, which is a clear acrylic from Diamond Nail Supplies. I've got a 10% discount code for Diamond Nail Supplies. And I know that the new colours have arrived and they are just being swatched and named and eek! <laughs> oh look, there's the side of my head. How lovely. So I'm just going to keep adding clear beads, making sure they've blended into each other, keeping it as level as I possibly can. Obviously all that glitter goes matte as it's covered with clear, so it's easy to tell if you've missed any. I'll also add Black Swan Beauty's Instagram and everything down below so you can follow her on there and check out her designs. She's super creative. So once we're done with this, I'm gonna just move on to the actual nail itself which was very very simple very quick and easy because I wanted the focus to be on the butterfly which in comparison to the nail is humongous maybe I should have done that smaller but never mind Okay, so here we are with my flexi finger. I'm using Diamond Nail Supplies Radiance at the base, which is a very milky pink color with tiny weeny little blue flecks in there, which they don't show, but they do show. I always say this, they don't show, but they do show. There's just something about them that is absolutely stunning. But this is a great color for a baby boomer ombre nail. adding a tiny little bit more at the tip and then blending it back up. I don't need to tell you how much I love this system, you know. Then I'm gonna go in with a bead of Exposed, which is a beautiful, soft, peachy pink cover powder. And it's just so easy to ombre. Look at that wash done so easy when you've got a good system it, it sorry I keep leaning on my thing well it when you've got a good system it does make a hell of a difference again with another bead of exposed oh my god so exposed <laughs> I can't resist it I love that name and then just blend it down into the first bead easy as that I'll lay another tiny bead just at the cuticle just to get a bit more coverage. Oh, I'm just laying a bit more of the radiance down. Haha, <laughs> I forgot I did that. Why me? My brain. Oh, my brain. Now I'm going to put a little bead down at the cuticle. I bet you. I bet her anyway, because I thought I did. Yeah, I did. And then just blend that in and as you can see there's no shadowing it's super easy blends like butter and i'm going to cap it in clarity i work quite wet but as you can see the bead does not wander off it sticks exactly where i've placed it which is great because i have a lot of systems i just struggle with because they run everywhere and it's it is me not being able to work at the right ratio for them but this is a very forgiving system so it's I'm lucky <laughs> so I'm gonna place another bead in the middle there because there's a little dip obviously when you're capping it's just important to turn that nail to the side and have a quick look 
you'll be building the structure. If this was a real na nail, I'd be doing the apex, I'd be doing everything there. And this is our base for the butterfly. Obviously, once that's set, I'll just file it roughly. I haven't filmed filing, I don't think, because I do filing all the time in all my videos. So now I'm going in with top as top coat, and I'm pretty sure this is top caress. Yes, it is. Because I wanted it to be like a sparkly, magical nail. So I thought, what better way than to use toppers? It's a top coat with glitter built into it. And it's smooth as a baby's bottom and tack free and super shiny. So perfect. And if you use a lot of gel polish, this is perfect for glamming it up as well. I will put their links and details and stuff down below. But as you can see, beautiful. Stunning. Okay, so now I've removed the wings and I'm just filing them over to make sure they're not really bumpy. Obviously there's going to be little undulations and stuff, but that's okay. I mean, we are dealing with my interpretation of a creature created by Mother Nature, or science really, but you know what I mean. So if there's any inconsistencies, I'll just say it was meant to be like that because it's my creation. <laughs> See? Oh dear. So I'll give it a rough file over and then I laid one on top of the other. I didn't film it because it was fiddly, but I laid one on top of the other and went around with my e-file just to trace the shape out to make sure they were both the same. And here I'm going in with Nail Kami's, uh black gel paint, which I love, and just this long brush which I actually bought from Hobbycraft. It's an art brush and I just cut loads of bristles off. Some of this, this is actually fast forwarded, that's how slow I am. So I did a few lines and then I'd cure with my topper's lamp because the topper's lamp just, um, you put it in like a phone charger or you can attach it to like an iPod or whatever and just hold it over, it's super super lightweight. So if you're doing designs like this, just whipping out the little lamp and whizzing it over the top for 10 seconds to freeze it in place is super quick and otherwise I have to use my big lamp and it's just a faff. So all I'm doing is tracing around the outside and then I did some detail in, in the middle. I don't really know, I didn't have a photograph to look at because I was recording on my phone and I didn't think to put the MacBook in front of me, which I probably should have done. So, I'm not saying it's like a butterfly should be, it's just how Sarah's butterfly is, okay? <laughs> it's my butterfly, okay? This was ever so stressful for me, because this is not something I'm used to doing at all. But I'm really happy to have been pushed out of my comfort zone. See? Just double touch the top of the light and blast it for 10 seconds. This bit I was out of shot so obviously I've just taken the footage out because it was silly for you to see the side of my hand non-stop. But all I'm doing here is just tracing out and then making like the little veins through the wings that butterflies have. Not veins but you know the black areas. You know what I mean. I mean, you really can do it any way you want. It's your creation, isn't it? So, who's to tell you what's right and wrong? If I was saying, here's an accurate representation of a monarch butterfly, there would be something drastically wrong with the glitter in it for a start, so. <laughs> Again, going in with the top of the lamp. Okay, attaching it to the nail. This is not fun. This is not fun, this bit. This is hard. Because the, the wing is so massive. I didn't think about trying to scale it down and make it more user-friendly. So basically, I laid a wet bead of acrylic down, placed the wing where I wanted it, and then tried to hold it still whilst shaking and clearly not holding it still, and packing it with acrylic and then just holding it there until it dried, which didn't take very long, but it was still a faff. And then what I did was, uh, I laid the other wing down off camera, I believe, and placed some of these beautiful Swarovski crystals. They're called Rose 
alabaster opals they're from angel crystals and i have a discount code for them as well um and i placed them down as the kind of body of the butterfly look like that see there you are and i just think they matched perfectly so now i'm going to go in with diamond nail supplies tack free top gloss top coat i don't know tack free top coat yeah top gloss is what cjp call theirs isn't it get muddled up sorry jade don't hit me <laughs> been a long day okay look at the shine on this top coat oh my god so good I'm quite pleased with how it turned out for my first attempt. I think it's rather sweet. I like it. I will leave you with a final video at the end. Don't forget to check out Black Swan Beauty's uh, challenge, which was hand-painted nail art. And I will see you in my next video. Tally bye.